Hello everyone, this is Andrew Chiron, and I am back with the first Dutch Exceptional Tournament. This is the first game of the second round, uh, and we have, obviously we're here on uh, Nuclear Winter, whatever. And on the blue team we have Putin 187 with Dutch-German Coalition General Deck. And on the red team we have Noam Chomsky with a uh, Eastern Bloc General Deck. So yeah, that should be interesting. And let's just get right down to it. Brazil will be seeing two command starts because, you know, nuclear winter. That looks like two MI 17s from Gnome. Putin, yeah, two command start, two command infantry. Oh, he has two cards of command infantry. He has the Dutch and the German one. Interesting. Interesting. Imperial ambitions. Okay. Is that supposed to mean something? I don't know I'm going for that. Anyway, starting with Putin since we're here. To definitely, so obviously sending one command infantry down to Bravo. Got UH-14, that's going to be KCT in there. <coughs> Got AMXPRI, that looks to be um, probably Stut Truppen. FAPH-2 Tiger. Mortar, 30.1. Leopard 2A4 and L. So that's 145 point Leopard 2A4. That's two more AP than the German one. Flat Panzer Gepard. A1 Gepard. Martyr 2. That's going to be Panzer Grenadier in there, obviously. That's probably going to be what's it, more um, much McCollum dudes. KCT. Recon Infantry. I can talk to my me. Oh, that could be. Uh, Coy Marinier in there. And then there's Flieger Faust of some description. And some Stoop Troopin. So it looks like Putin's going for the bottom part of the map, is my guess. Just a light holding force in Foxtrot, I presume. As for Gnome, what do we got here? So two command start, sending MI17 to Gulf. Just to check one. Got Sneska and it's going to be LSTR 40 there. Not a lot. It's going to be sending. Maybe he's going to hook into Delta. I don't know. Maybe he's just going to go straight for Foxtrot. Anyway, so over here we have more LSTR 40 and Conquers M, presumably. Prime S Mortar. Yeah. The VZ 82 is the fire support vehicle, if I recall correctly. And then the VZ 85 is. Or VZ. I'm Canadian. Is, um. The mortar. Anyway, you got M2 Wilk and an M2 Moderna. That's a lot of tank. It's 120 point tank and a 160 point tank, so. I wonder what he's gonna try and do with that. Also have. That's gonna be Spezia of Claire in there. Sneska and. Uh, BMP2, so that's gonna be Mot Schutzen, most likely 75. Two Sneskos. Okay, so. <coughs> It looks as if Gnome is trying to go for Foxtrot, but I could be mistaken though. Maybe he's going to hook down in a Delta. Now he did say he has Imperial Ambition, so I'm guessing he might be going straight for Echo. So, well, that pays off for him. <coughs> so, these guys are probably just going to be camping up there. Alistair for him. I'm not sure. He does have the MI2 for recon. That's probably going to get shot down by the Tiger, though. Ooh, F-104G. Ooh, that could be dangerous to the MI-17. Gnome can't see it yet. As soon as he sees that, he has to land that MI-17, yeah. Otherwise, it's going to get shot down. It's still going. Oh, can Putin see? He can't. He's going for the MI-2. He gets it. Oh, and he can see the MI-17 now. Oh, but the F-104G does turn away, and there's a laser, laser coming out after it. And that should be able to take care of an F-104G. Yep, it's gone. And that just expended all this. Oh, I no. Gnome did not see it. 
How do you age for a team with the KCT is sneaking around? Oh. So yeah, Putin's definitely going hard for Delta. And Gnome is not pushing. He's just stopping in the forest. He's, if you're going to go all in, you got to push, man. Maybe he's just trying to recollect his forces. Maybe he's going to try and redeploy them. I don't know. All I know is that he does not have a lot. And that UH-14 has already snuck around. Oh, and the Command of Tree aren't in a building either. They're just right next to an MI-17. MI okay, so I bet a Grenadier is in the AMX PRIs. Blizzard's out again. Is it, what's it going for? Is it just doing a cap or is it trying to get the tiger? Can Gnome even see the tiger? He can! Oh, yep, he's going for it. Tiger's over water, it can't land. Oh, and gone. Oh, Gepard's taking a pot shot. It takes a big chunk of its health out. Oof. Yeah, that's something nice about the Gepard A1 is that it's. <laughs> it can wreck low ECM planes pretty quickly. Oh, so that's your 40 and not even in the buildings, so yeah, Stute Troopin are gonna, probably going to have a day with, field day with him. Okay, so it's up at his Stute Troopin in the YP-48s. So now this guy's just going after Fuchs Milan. And Gnome is pushing up a bit, but he just walked his Grenadiers, un, or his Spezzi up there unsupported into some Grenadiers. He needs to get his Moat Shoots in there or something. Not that Spezzi of Clare are bad, it's just, you know. I don't want to just use your recon of trees like that. And then, yeah, KCT are on the deck. They're going to be sneaking in. As is it, PTU trucks. Interesting. I guess he's using them as flank security or base security, whatever. So this guy's advancing on a empty transport. Putin's pushing into Charlie. He's an unopposed. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the fire support one, with the conquerors. That for 24 is just smoked out on the bridge. There you go. Grenadiers are being overwhelmed now. Or about to be. Spezzi so Claire are doing a good enough job by themselves against them, but yeah, once the most shoots and get involved, along with those BMP2s and the Moderna, that's yeah, game over for them. Right here, oh, Snesca has caught out some grenadiers. Oh, got Vydra 2, it's with the, whatchamacallum, Panzer of Nietzsche or whatever. The Czech RPG-7 fire support team. And yeah, Martyr 2 is just going to wreck that Sneska. And then this Prem as well. Oh, Vydra's are just walking right into the Grenadiers. They do have two front and side armor, so they won't get one shot by the Grenadiers, but you gotta be careful with them. No, one hit. Oh, yeah, one goes down. And that, oh, it's not, it's Granatomats in there, not Panzer of Nietzsche. So yeah, that's done. That was just not no attention paid there. Oh, KCT or, oh, but that thing is not in the right spot. KCT are spawning it, but I don't think that can spot the KCT. Nope. If that was right there, it would be shooting at them, but nope, it's too deep in the forest. Syria is going out against the Martyr too, I guess. Yeah, works for you. Meanwhile, over here, Stute Troopin are caught out in the open by some Moat shoots in. But there's some fire support moving up to help them. Another Martyr 2. Yeah, no one's just taking too long to push Foxtrot, and he's just lost so much ground here. And the thing is, is that. Sure, you can take the two pointer there, but. You know, you have four points there, there's five points down here, so if you can take the bottom part of the map. Then it doesn't really matter if your opponent has the top part because you still have that point advantage. Meanwhile, yeah, KCT are about to ruin the these guys. MI-17 has moved off. Actually, where did it go? Okay, it's just chilling out there. So yeah, that those guys, especially since they're on the open, they're just going to get wrecked. Oh, wait. MI-2 might spot them. 
or not. These guys have their... They do have their weapons on. Not spotted yet. Oh. I think they're spotted now. Yeah, they're, they're shooting now. Oh, but they turned off their weapons. Putin turned off their guns right at the last moment. Okay, he turned them back on. So that should promote a response. Yeah, there goes... There goes Gnome's uh, base CV. Hope OCU is out. Hope did the Moderna go down while I was paying attention? Probably happened while I was paying attention, you know, focusing over there. Got my maid just sifting through some burning wreckage. Eh, mystery for the ages. That's just a BMP2. Oh, that's pretty unfortunate for... Oh yeah, that might have been the block that got it. The OCU. Open the... Now it's trying to... Yeah, it's on Elite, so yeah. It's, oh, and hits with both AMRAMs. I see that thing probably paid for itself. And it's not something to worry about any ASFs coming out after it because the Hotel cv has gone. There's a few rounds here easy coming out from Gnome for a hotel, but I don't know how good that's going to be. Let's do a trip out of AT4 ammunition, and they're trading fire with the Spezia of Claire, but yeah, Panzer Grenadier Marker 2 show up. Not looking too good for the Spezia of Claire. Oh, and a Peace Rhine is out as well. Oh, is it going for the Wilk? Can Putin see that? No, he can't. <clears throat> MI-17 going after? It's not a bad helo sniper. Oh, Casey tier in a good spot to intercept any UA any transfers coming in. Oh, gets one hit. I was gonna get the flak bus. Oh, but it's going after the MI-2. Oh. KCT taking fire, but they miss with 92% accuracy. Wow. They're lucky that that thing's not better against infantry. Oh. Can the KCT spot that? Yes, they can. <laughs> they both missed. <laughs> Did a gun run. That's hilarious. That's that's unfortunate for Boone, but pretty lucky for True Orb. Yeah, he's gonna be booking that one out of there. But the P starts coming around again. Is it gonna is it gonna strafe it? Oh, oh, and it gets it with the strafing run. That's hilarious. Actually hilarious. Nope, an F104G. Probably gonna try and whack the Mi-17s. Otherwise, they're gonna wreck that KCT. Wonder what a uh, True Herb's gonna try doing now. That his plan's falling apart. It definitely did not survive first contact with the enemy. Oh, Mi two goes down. KCT are building, building hopping. Oh, command infantry in the Mi seventeen, but with a piece or oh, piece runs out. But yeah, the F one hundred four G that might be a bad idea. Oh, leaves it on two HP. Missed with its first missile. But now they're both basically one shots for the F one hundred four G. And then the yeah, UH-14 swinging around. Yeah, not a lot happening here. Looks like all, all the attention's here. True Orb is pushing up a few more guys. Oh. F-104G gets one MI-17. Still the one left. Is it landed? Yes, it is. Oh, but it's going for the other one. Or, nope, turning away. And it's almost out of few. It's almost dingles. Bingo. 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 I can talk, don't mind me. Nope, let's hear 40 have snuck around. Might be a little bit too little, too late for them though. Ooh, a Marida. Not horrible, not a horrible little tank. Yeah, that's good for a 50 point tank. It's probably one of the best, you know, T55 variants in game. Not really saying much though. And of course, KCT are still there. I mean, the UH 14 is also still there. Sure, is just stopped that. Yeah, Putin's taking up plus three. He's capped Alpha. Peace runs back out. 
So that's, yeah, 159 to 1. Nope, Rom is out. I guess he wants to take care of that UH-14. Never, oh, nope. Did he get it? Two? Yeah, or, yeah, BMP-2. And then, yeah, Mario 2 gets the other one. Oh, these guys are just driving right into the KCT. Yeah, Putin's just... Putin's uh, pretty good at the moment, I do believe. Not a lot to stop him. Well, Morita's doing some work, though. Two A four is repositioning, running a bit low on fuel though. Oh, Rom's going after the UH fourteen. He misses one, hits with the second. Oh, there you go. Sneska's going in first. Hey, combine the Sneska with the Mi seventeen. That KCT could be spotted and wiped out with some rocket pods, providing you know like a plane or something doesn't wipe out the Mi seventeen. Shoots and pop one AMX. Oh, well, Alistair Fur snuck all the way around, but the CV's over here, not there. Nope, oh, F104G is out again. Ooh, right above the Alistair 40. They miss. And that, if Putin's paying attention, he would have seen that happen. No, it doesn't look like anything's happening immediately, though. Uh, we're in fact that the LCR 40 is walking across the open. Yeah, Putin can see that. Martitudes is going to probably give him a good reckon. If they're in range, though. And the Grenadiers are going to catch him in the open as well. Along with that, so that's yeah, not going to go too well for those LCR 40. Oh, MI-17 is just flying right in. Oh. Peace right and F one oh four G are both going for it though. That's you ma you made a mistake there. No. One missile Oh and oh mi one miss. Oh oh my it's still alive. Oh wow. That is that's pretty lucky for Gnome. Yeah, that's Jeff Forty are down. Oh peace runs oh, it's on the ground, it's on the ground, oh, it's firing. Rom is engaging, and the explosion from the MI-17 kills the command infantry. Oh, that's that's good. That that was that was worth it. So okay, so Putin was victorious. Two hundred eighty-five conquest points to Gnome's one. Putin had one thousand two hundred twenty-five kills to Noam Chomsky's four hundred forty-five. Um, yeah, how am I going to put that? Well, so Gnome probably made a few made a mistake in his opener by just lumping everything into the top part of the map and not pushing hard enough there, so he just gave it up on the bottom. And then Putin with that, you know, sneaky UH-14 with the KCT right off the bat, you know, sneaking around before, you know, True Orb has an opportunity to put out any major security or like, flank or base security or recon. So that can, you know, that gets the sneaker right, oh, right on in. And then just not very good placement of his base security afterwards from no meant that the KCT snuck right in. Especially since the command infantry were not in a building block, they were just sit standing out in the open. And which meant that, yeah, once they got engaged, they just went down like nobody's business. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a pretty clever move from Putin there, doing that right off the bat. Because a lot of people don't see it coming, just because you know it's in the first few minutes of the game, you just don't have, you just can't spare the points for the most part to you know get some base security on your flanks, you know get stuff, you know get get some flank security immediately. So it means that at the beginning, you know, a well placed team, you know, infantry squad, you know, especially a recon one can, yeah, sneak in and get past things. And, yeah, that's that, I guess. 
Uh, I don't know what else to say. Really not a whole lot happened in that battle. It was just fun watching the helicopters dancing with the planes. And, um, yeah, it's all here. I'm Xander Sharon, and this was round two of the first Dutch Exceptional Tournament. You guys have a lovely day.